final form is the last form you can obtain in Kingdom Hearts 2. After defeating Roxas, this form can be randomly activated by transforming into a drive or by using the 2 become 1 Keyblade's ability. On the surface, Final Form is seen as one of the most powerful forms in the game with devastating combos and magic, but it also has many not as well known properties that I'll explore throughout this video. The most infamous use of Final Form is its Fireaga spell, which doesn't add any revenge value. By positioning Sora so that both the fire and his spinning keyblades hit the enemy, you can infinitely change fire rockets on bosses without any fear of retaliation. The technique is limited by how quickly Final Form runs out, but it's still a powerful tool for damage nonetheless. Final Form's Blizzard finisher propels Sora back multiple times. Although situational, there are a few uses for Blizzard because of this property, notably dodging incoming enemy attacks. Perhaps the most well-known use for this is Mushroom Number 4 in Land of Dragons, where your goal is to avoid the dive attacks and hit the mushroom simultaneously. Final Form's Magnet operates very differently compared to base Sora's. Casting Magnet will rapidly suck enemies in and out of it before the spell ends and throws them towards the direction of Sora, or if Sora is underneath the Magnet, away from him. This is often useful for crowd control on enemies that are difficult to deal with in close range, as the Magnet staggers them and allows a quick follow-up with attacks such as fire. You can also position Sora in a smart way to force the enemies into a certain area of the battlefield, like a corner, and follow up with other attacks. A hidden property of Final Form's Magnet is that it picks up all treasures in the area, similar to how Master Treasure Magnet works in Cage 3. One big but commonly unspoken property about Final Form is its aerial agility with magic. Casting magic in midair will not cause Sora to float, but instead fall while casting. Normally when casting Reflect, there's an ending lag where Sora cannot perform any actions. By jumping and casting Reflect, Sora will land on the ground just as Reflect ends and cancel the ending lag, allowing Sora to immediately move again. By doing this, you can get extra splash damage that isn't normally possible from staying on the ground. As of this video, using this technique is the only way to beat Mushroom Number 7 on level 1 without stat boosts. This property also allows a strategy to reset air combos to be possible. This one's a bit complicated, so I won't go into all the details now, but to summarize it, the technique operates on the principle of getting Sora back on the ground in the middle of an air combo while keeping the enemy staggered with magic. By replacing certain parts of your aerial combo in a final form with magic, Sora can drift towards the ground while staggering the enemy, allowing you to quote-unquote infinitely combo an enemy. Most magics work for the strategy, but the most commonly used ones are Fire and Magnet. Fire for its constant hitbox and lack of adding any revenge value, and Magnet to stagger the enemy for a longer period of time. Understanding how this strat exactly works and how to execute it properly takes a bit of in-depth explanation with how final form combos work and where to intersperse the magic spells to keep the enemy stunned, as well as some nuance with timing each part of your combo appropriately. I'll leave that for a future video where I talk about ways to bypass revenge value. Final Form has an ability called Auto Assault, which enables the Keyblades to move around Sora while he performs actions. Although this seems as if it's just a minor addition to deal extra chip damage, understanding how the Keyblades move for each action can be extremely useful for combat situations. Perhaps the most situational use is the jump. As the Keyblades spin around Sora whenever he jumps, it's possible to bring enemies into the air with this. A viable strategy for the infamous Mushroom Number 8 uses this jump technique. Another use for this technique is to bring small enemies into the air and then follow up with previous air combos shown. Whenever Sora throws an item near an enemy in final form, the Keyblades will knock the enemies into the air, effectively acting as a riser. This can be followed up with powerful aerial attacks. Another interesting thing to note is the amount of damage this can deal, which is actually quite impressive, especially if you're against an enemy that doesn't stagger and can be hit by the entire animation. Sora's Keyblades are constantly moving whenever he glides, essentially giving him infinite parry frames. Many attacks can be blocked this way, and it's also an effective strategy to deal with Mushroom Number 2 in Christmas Town. Note that the previously mentioned moves such as the jump or the item throw also has plenty of parry frames to them, and can be used to avoid and block attacks. Final Form also possesses the single highest DPS attack in the game. By pushing your analog stick in one direction and spamming the glide button, Sora's Keyblades will continuously activate an animation whenever Sora starts gliding. This attack has a hitbox around Sora, and spamming it quickly deals massive amounts of damage. This only works well on large stationary targets, as the move has a lot of knockback otherwise. As of this video, using this technique is the only way to beat Mushrooms number 5 and 10 on level 1 without any stat boosts. Final Form has its drawbacks. It runs out quickly, requires 5 drive gauges to use, and requires both party members to be alive. However, understanding its properties and combo potential will help maximize its usefulness in combat, giving you access to some of the most powerful tools available in Sora's arsenal. Before this video ends, I want to give a shout out to Yashi Nanase for finding the Mushroom's 5, 8, and 10 strats with the Glidespan techniques. 
Uh, to my knowledge, he's the first one to have documented these on the internet. I'll link his channel in the description below, so go check him out. He's one of, if not the most innovative Kingdom Hearts 2 players ever.